Good morning, I'm Mez Deline here today with um, our daily oracle card and today it is inner trust. Though it may be cloaked and hidden within you lies natural magnificence, vibrancy and true uniqueness. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this oracle is offering you now. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. This oracle brings you the message that it is time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. You're being assured that you can trust your intuition and your own sense of things. Sometimes what you sense will be love and you will open your heart and move easily towards the source of that love be it in the form of another person, a new career path, a project which you care deeply about and want to pursue, or a spiritual or creative practice you are keen to explore. Sometimes what you sense will be more challenging than this and will ask something different of you. It might be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking within someone's intentions or in situations around you. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps this card you've drawn this card because you're not necessarily holding yourself back out of fear or lack of belief in your ability to support and care for yourself or in the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships. The oracle of inner trust comes to you with this guidance. You know what you are doing. You have enough wisdom and intuition to be able to place yourself more fully in the world to take steps to unhide yourself. Even if you feel you have no clue about what is happening at a broader level in your life, even if you can't quite see the whole picture of what is taking place within or around you, you still have all the wisdom and intuitive ability you need to take one step at a time and navigate your way through absolutely anything that life brings to your door. If you have been thinking of taking a leap of faith, doing things differently, whether in your personal life or your creative work, then this oracle brings a particular message to trust your instincts and go for it. This oracle comes at a time when the patterns of your life are shifting you can take advantage of this shift and leap into an entirely new level of consciousness and experience. This is not a time for self-doubt or playing small. It is a time to get in touch with the courage, boldness, and daredevil within, and to take that step, big or small, into the future that is beckoning you forward. You have the wings to fly. Sometimes we don't realize it until we leap over the edge of what we have known and begin to soar into a new life. So I love this card. But at the same time, I want to say it's not so easy to trust yourself. Some of us learn as a young child that not to trust ourselves, maybe is, is the best way to say it. But, you know, we sense intuitively, we sense something wrong. We're told nothing is wrong. Um, or maybe in a relationship, you know, you know that your your significant other is upset about something and you, you want to talk about it and they say, and you say, what's wrong, honey? Nothing. How many of you can relate to that? And, but especially as a child, you know, you're told that your feelings aren't real and the adult is telling you and you don't have any other frame of reference other than, you know, you have your feelings and and you just don't learn to trust yourself because you're being told all the time that what you're feeling isn't right. And so once we leave that environment of, you know, our childhood, then, you know, we can begin to um, listen to ourselves and just really pay attention. So what that means is when you have an intuitive hit, especially one that says don't go there or that person isn't who they say they are um, or you know you just have a feeling about someone 
pay attention. Sometimes it'll be really clear that, you know, you chose to walk the other way, and sometimes it'll be really clear that you made a really good choice. Other times, not so much. But always trust that, that knowing inside of you. I call it an inner voice, but sometimes it's hard to differentiate because we have all these inner voices of self-judgment, the, the, you know, the inner critic and all those kind of things. And, and so, but this is that voice that is the voice of intuition. And so it's important to learn to trust that voice and just start paying attention. You'll get a sense of, like you'll be thinking you, you really need to call somebody and check on them and the phone rings and it's that person. Pay attention to those things. You know, make a note, um, make a journal. Uh, that's what helped me. I started journaling many, many years ago, and I I could look back through my journal and see that that I would have a feeling or a sense or, you know, of, of this was the right thing to do or this was the wrong thing to do, and I would write about it. And then looking back, like I said, sometimes you know right away, sometimes not so much, but looking back, I could see that more and more I was in tune with my intuition. And and so as I as I listened to that intuition and took action on it, or non-action, depending on what, what my guidance was, I began to trust myself. And I began to understand that I am the only one who knows what is to my highest good. No one else knows that. You know, people can tell you, oh, you need to eat differently or you need to get more rest or whatever. And that may be true, but it might not. You know, some people, I know this woman that thrives on four hours of sleep a night. Amazing. Sometimes I go for weeks with six hours of sleep. Sometimes I go for weeks needing eight or nine hours a night of sleep. Only I know what is to my highest good. Only you know what is to your highest good. When we look to others for um, to take care of us, they may or may not listen to our needs. You may know what is to your highest good and you may ask for it, but then they decide whether they think it's to your highest good. And so that's why it's so important to learn to take care of ourselves and especially emotionally. So this card is just about trusting yourself to know that what you're feeling is truth and that and trust yourself to either take action or non-action depending on that feeling. Most of all, it's just um, trusting yourself enough to know that you are needed in this world, that you, just the way you are, are beautiful and divine and unique and special just the way you are, and that the world needs you. Without you, the world is less than. So, I love how it says, This oracle brings you the message that it's time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. There you go. Trust yourself.